YouTube space. Okay, um, so here we have it's 3 fourths minus 1 half n equals 5 eighths. So it was pretty easy when we were dealing with fractions when they all had the same fraction, right? Because to get rid of it, we just multiply by where it was divided, right? Well, here we have three different denominators. So, ladies and gentlemen, to get rid of this denominator, we have to multiply by 4, right? Or remember, as we talked about, you have to multiply everything by 4. Then to get rid of this one, you have to multiply by 2. But then you have to multiply everything by 2. And here you have to multiply by 8. So to get rid of that one, you have to multiply by 8. But then you have to multiply everything by 8. So that means we'd have to multiply all three of these terms by 2 times 8 times 8, which would be 64. Well, that's like, Six. that's getting crazy, right? So that would be 64 times 8. Right. And you could do that. But let's look at the simplest way to do this. The easiest way to get rid of fractions when you have different ones is to find the least, the smallest, common denominator, or at least common multiple. So you look at what is the smallest number that all three of these divide into? Well, remember, those four di evenly divide into two. Not, not their factors, the other way. What do they divide into? Eight. Eight, right? Yes, their least common factor is two, but we're looking for the multiple. They all divide into eight. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply each one by eight. And that's really the trick when you have different ones of fractions. All right? So you guys can look at this a couple different ways. You can make this a 8 over 1 and multiply across. 8 times 3 is 24. Divide by 4 is 6. You could also look at it this way. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. Minus. 1 times 8 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4n. Or 8 divided by 2 is 4 times 1 is one, uh, 4. So minus 4n equals um, the 8, you can see 5 times 8 is going to be 40. Divide by 8 is 5. Or you guys just notice, oh, those equal 1, which equals 5. You guys see how that gets rid of fractions? Yeah. Yes, you could do this the old school way and subtract the fractions. But it's okay, we can just get rid of them like that. And now I'm just going to, now I need to undo what's happening to my variable. Since that's a positive 6n, I need to subtract, I'm sorry, not positive 6. And since that's a positive 6, I need to subtract a 6. Okay, subtract a 6 on both sides. Negative 4. Negative 4n equals negative 1. Then I need to undo multiplication by negative 4, so I divide by negative 4. And I get n equals positive 4 and 4. Can we write it as like 0.25? We'll talk about that later. When it comes up, we'll talk about it. I'll watch it. But besides that, that's how you got the problem. Cool?